for the Family Feud. Introducing the Spear Family. Bob, Dee, Lisa, Paula, and Greg. Ready for action. Introducing the Mavic Family. Ellen, Carolyn, Ida, Carol, and Ellen. On your marks, let's start the Family Feud. feud, and that's where two typical American families fight it out for family honor and a little spending money for the relatives. If I look happy tonight, I am. I've just got the oil drilling rights to Jack Lord's hair. Well, I'm saying hello to the Spirit family. Bob, it's nice to see you. Welcome to Family Feud. What do you do for a living? I'm a uh, warranty manager for Douglas Aircraft Company. Well, of course you are. Now, who's this pretty lady here? <laughs> that's my wife, Dee. Dee, you look gorgeous. Dee? How long have you been married? Almost 28 years. My goodness. I was only two. I can get to the baby again. Is this pretty good? This is your daughter? This is my daughter, Lisa. Lisa, you look gorgeous, and you do have a pretty smile. Thank you. Is this your sister? That's my sister, Paula. Paula. Of course, I can see Paula's Unless you're an amnesia victim, you know who you are, don't you? That's right. Who is this rascal? Your husband? This is my husband, Greg. I figured it. How are you, Greg? Fine, and you? Nice to see you. I hope the Spear family is united as one, because we have a family here looking to take over the neighborhood, and they are the Mad Vigs. Let's do it. Auto sales. Auto sales? Yeah. I was hit by a convertible the other day. <laughs> White oil tires, air conditioning, fully everything was sweet. And your name is? Carolyn. And you are the? I'm his wife. Oh, dear. I always get there too late. <laughs> oh. Who's Ida? This is my sister-in-law. Really? You're very pretty. Nice to Hi. see you. Thank you. <laughs> you look like a green bumblebee. <laughs> Is this your husband? This is my husband, Carol. Nice to see you, Carol. Richard's a pleasure. And who is Alan? This is my nephew. Your nephew? Mm -hmm. Nice to see you. They bring you along on all these shows? <laughs> yeah. Of course. Yeah. Brilliant conversation. <laughs> Trifle limited, but brilliant. Both families, we wish you lots of luck. And now, heads of families, I want you to get ready now for the face-off position. Let's go. questions that we ask on Family Feud were answered by 100 people when we conducted a nationwide telephone survey. Their answers to this very first question are up on the board. You can see there are five of them. Here's the question. The thing to do is try to get the most popular answer. Name something that little girls say they want to be when they grow up. Bob. Actress. Actors? Actress. Actress. Don't get testy. I guess. <laughs> has become King Kong here. An actress. Let's take a look. Those eight people, we transfer and put them into points. Points are important because the first family to get 200 points is going to get a chance to play our fast money game for $5,000, OK? Than actress, so name something. The little girls say they want to be when they grow up. Nurses. Nurses? Are they there? Nurses! Yeah. The number one choice. Yeah. 50 people out of the 100. That goes up there into the point value. And now this is important. You had the most popular answer. You make the decision. Are you going to play the board? Or are you going to force the Spears to play it? There are three remaining answers. What are you going to do? Play it. Play it. Play it. Going to play We're it? We're going to play it. We're going to All right. It. Let's go back to our families. And let's start with pretty Carolyn. Name something that little girls say they want to be when they grow up. Mothers. Mothers. <laughs> Thank heaven for little mothers. Are they there? <laughs> 28 people said they wanted to be mothers. 14 said they didn't want to get involved. <laughs> Six dollars there. Ida? A ballerina. A ballerina. Yeah. yeah, I know. Little girls like to do that. A ballerina. Oh, well, oh that well. means that when we did a survey, <laughs> that at least two people they did not give that answer, so not it's not included. That's the first strike. Three strikes, you lose control of the board. Carol, name something. The little girls say they want to be when they grow up. 
about a singer? Singer? Let's see a singer. My goodness me. Well, luckily you have Alan. Alan? <laughs> I have a terrible feeling you were made by Mattel. You haven't said anything. This is serious, so let's give him a break. Two strikes on you. You don't need the third strike. Now, I'm sure you date a lot of pretty girls, so name something. The little girls say they want to be when they grow up. A famous ice skater. <laughs> I believe you. A famous ice skater. That's your third strike, and that means that you've lost control of the board. There are 86 points in the bank. You have not lost, however. We don't know how it goes, but we do know. Spears, you have it right now. There are two answers. Give me one. Teacher. If it's teacher. on the board, teacher. 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 The Spear family. <laughs> if it is not on the board, the Mad Bigs capture the bank. Do little girls want to be teachers? Now we'll take a look, and if President comes up, I'll be very surprised. <laughs> Let's see what little girls want to be. <laughs> What a nice thought. Okay, come on up here. Face off position now. And you do pretty good. And the girls will. Well, they know because they're little girls. Nothing for this side, Alan. Important that you get on the board. 91 points for the Spear family. 200 gives you the chance for the fast money. We asked our poll. We got eight answers to this question. Name something it takes two people to do. Dance. Dance. Let's see dance. <laughs> 16 people said dance. Put the 15 up and go off the bank. There are two more popular answers up there. You choose one. Well, I won't say rumba, but I would say uh, uh, marriage. Get married? Yes. Ooh. Getting married. Let's take a look. Yeah. <laughs> Those 22 folks walk into the boat, and now you've got the decision. You had the more popular answer. Are you going to play? There are six remaining answers. You're going to play the board. Are you going to force Listen, Alan's family to play it? Pass. Pass. I want to pass. You want to pass? I want to pass. Let's join our families here. And now, taking a look, $37, uh, 37 points in the bank. Ready, darlings? Name something it takes two people to do. Tango. It takes two to tango. <laughs> Eleven people in our survey said that, so that means there's five and a half people tangoing somewhere, and you're doing well. That's for the deep thinkers. Ida, name something it takes two people to do. I have to say the obvious, because I don't have another answer. What is it? Make love. Yes. <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. Is it there? Yeah. Oh, this passing could be a bad mistake. We'll take a look. 79 points there, Carol. Name something it takes two people to do. Play cards, I don't know. Play cards? Five card run in. Playing cards! Nope, no card players when we made our survey. That's the first strike, but it makes a change from Alan getting it. Alan? <laughs> Name something it takes two people to do. Uh, go on a date. Go out on a date. Yeah. Two's company and three's a crowd. Go out on a date. Oh. Not there. Now, that's serious. It is two strikes. One more strike, and you lose control of the board. Four remaining answers. Name something it takes two people to do, Alan. Tennis. Yeah. Play tennis? Oh, yeah. Six people said tennis. 85 points there, Carolyn. Two strikes against you. You don't need the third one. Name something it takes two people to do. Uh, uh play ball. Play ball? 
I think you're going to be living with Alan. Very soon. Play ball. That's your third strike. That means that you built up that bank there, 85 points. You haven't lost. You haven't won. But it does mean Spears. There are three answers. Give me one. Kiss. 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 If it is not on the board, the Madvigs will. And it would be a big win here right away. Let's take a look and show me Kiss. Who gave you the kiss, the ladies? Good. All right, let's take a look and see the other things the two people. This is serious. 182 to zero. <laughs> in fact, it's so serious, I think I better have a commercial and talk to these people. We'll be back in a minute. Well, welcome back to Family Feud. Alan, your family does not have anything at all in your scoreboard. <laughs> the dreaded Spear family have 182. That's eight. Yeah! 200 is a magic game. Alan, Bob, come on up here for the face-off position now. Now, this is do or die. You've got to get on the board. We made a survey, because 200, you know, is... That's what it's all about. You get 200. 18 points he needs. You've got to come in here. Asked our people, 100 of them, they gave us eight answers to this question. Name any president of the United States, living or dead. Alan. Uh, Nixon. He said Nixon. Nixon, let me take a look. That's his lucky number, 13. Yeah. Put it up into the bank there, please. There is still a more popular, the number one answer. Bob, name uh, a president of the United States living or dead. Say Kennedy. JFK? JFK. Oh! Very fast in the bank, please. And by getting the most popular answer, you now control the board. Are you going to play? There are six remaining answers. Going to play the board, or are you going to make Alan's family play the board? We're going to play. We're going to play. Hey, play. play. Going to play it? Yeah, We're going to play. play. Let's rejoin our families. If you do it, now the it game can be yours. Name any president of the United States, living or dead. There are six answers. I need one from you, D. Ford. Gerald Ford. Right. President Gerald Ford. Oh. And Lisa. Father of our country, George Washington. George Washington, are you there? Yeah. Well, people like him and Paula, I need a president, living or dead. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. There are 77 points here. This could be a right. Greg? Eisenhower. Good old Ike. Sure. General Ike, President Eisenhower. Oh. Thing that you're doing here right now, I need a president of the United States, living or dead. There are two answers. Bob. Roosevelt. Which one? Uh, the last one. Uh, Just the tell me your name. The Theodore Roosevelt. Uh -huh. Theodore? Uh -huh. Teddy oh, no. Roosevelt? Is that what no. you need? No, I'm not. Uh, tell me who you want. The other Roosevelt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. FDR, let's take a look. Uh -huh. Oh, it's not there. That means in the survey, at least two people, they didn't get that, and so therefore it's not included. Little D, that's the first strike. You do not need three strikes. Name a president of the United States, living or dead. There are two answers. Johnson and it's a Just lot. give me one. Uh, what is Lisa his name? Lisa Johnson. I know. President, president Johnson. Johnson. LBJ, let's yes. take a look. Yeah. President Johnson. <laughs> Left. I need a president of the United States, living or dead. John Quincy Adams. John yeah, Quincy. <laughs> Don't laugh. He had a lot of weight at one time. <laughs> <laughs> Adams oh, is yeah. not there. That's the second strike. 
Now, my love, we come to you. There's only one answer remaining. There are two strikes against you, three strikes. You lose control of the board. If you win this, you've got the whole ball of wax. You've shut them out, you'll go for the big money. Name a president of the United States, living or dead. I have two, and I can't decide which Just one. one. Just say one. Thomas Jefferson. Uh -oh. If Thomas no. Jefferson is right there on that board, you will have shut them out and won the game. If he's not there, it's the third strike, and the Mad Bigs have a chance. Jefferson, are you there? Third strike. He's not there. We've gotten 83 points in the bank. Now listen to me carefully, Alan. Need an answer. Teddy Roosevelt or Truman? Oh, Truman. Truman. Which is it? What do you want? Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt. Truman. 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 Take Truman. Truman. Uh, oh, well, go on. If you say Truman. Truman? OK. If Truman is on the board, you will capture the bank. If Harry Truman is not on the board, the Spears capture the bank and go for the fast money. Harry Truman, are you there? You're there. to 182 questions. There were four answers to this question. Name someone who's been married many times. Alan. Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor, are you there? The number one lady. This is the comeback. You got there, he's in the number one spot. Put the 46 points up, please. You were almost shut out. You've made no, no way that he can play. You've got the most popular thing. Are you gonna play it? Or are you going to force the Spears to play it? Do you want to play it? Do you want... Let's try it. OK. Let's try, try it. try it, yeah. Let's try it and join our families. Off we go. Four remaining answers. Listen carefully. Name someone who's no. been married many times. Uh, Zsa Zsa. Zsa Zsa Gabor? Yes. Zsa Zsa Gabor, are you there? <laughs> I think two of those marriages were annulled. <laughs> Ida, someone who's been married many times. Ooh. I don't know, but the only one I can think of is Ava Gabor. Ava Gabor, let's no, take a look. I, Ava? I don't know. Oh! Oh! 81 points there. Very good, oh. very good. You can just do it now. Shut them right out. Name someone who's been married many times, Carol. Well, she hasn't been married, married, married many times, but I'm going to try Cher. Oh, Cher? No. Because she's been no. married recently. No. We'll take a look. Cher? That's the first strike. Here's a man who knows a lot about girls. I think ice skating. <laughs> Ready? Listen. Name someone who's been married many times. You have one strike against you. Any actress. Very good. That's two strikes. One more strike, you're going to lose control. You've almost got it done. Let's go now. The game's going to be theirs if they answer it. You can do it right here and stay in the game. I need the name of someone who's been married many times. Mickey Rooney. Mickey Rooney? Oh, yeah! If Mickey Rooney is on the board, you will capture that bank. If he is not on the board, the Spears not only capture the bank, they win the game. Let's take a look. Mickey Rooney! Fantastic. 186. 186 to 182. This is some horse race. Come on up here. Get ready for the face-off right now. This is for all the marbles. We know we're going to have a winner. OK, here we go. Five answers. Here's the question. Name a good luck charm. Uh, rabbit's foot. A rabbit's foot. Show me a rabbit's foot. Yeah. 28 people say. If you name the most popular, you got it. Name a good luck charm. I'll say a four-leaf clover. A four-leaf clover? If we got one. Put the points up there, please. Make your decision now. Are you going to play it? Or are you going to force yeah, Let's play it. You're going to play? Yeah, okay. lucky, uh, Are you going to play? Yes, yes. we're going to play. Join our families and go. Three remaining answers. All right, you're going for 200 points and win the game. Name a good luck charm. <laughs> oh, a charm bracelet. A charm bracelet. Let's see a charm bracelet. First strike. Didn't make our survey. Lisa, name a good luck charm. 
A leprechaun. A leprechaun. Let's take a look. Two strikes in a row. One more strike, you lose control of the board. Paula, a good luck charm. A horseshoe. A horseshoe. Ooh, yeah. yes. Scissors yeah. Yeah. Eighty-seven dollars for the Two answers remaining. Name a good luck charm. This isn't quite a charm, but it's kind of good luck to throw salt over the shoulder. Just throw mm -hmm. salt over your shoulder. Let's take a look. It's not there. That means you're not in, you're not out. We don't know which, but what we do know, Mad Biggs, you have a chance now. Two remaining answers. Give me one. Oh, what a party stone. No, what what another one? You got any more? Do you have any other one? Have any? Have any? 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 I need an answer right now. Just the Barney Stone. The Barney Stone. If the Barney Stone is on that board, you'll capture the bank and you'll be playing fast money for $5,000. If the Barney Stone is not there, the Spears will play for the fast money. Is the Barney Stone there? And a Christopher. Listen, we do not send you away empty-handed. We're going to convert the 186 points into dollars. All go out, have a nice dinner. You're delightful people. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Listen, Bob. We're going to play fast money, and I need two people to represent your family. Who's going to play? B and I will play. You're going to play. Who will play first? First is easier. Oh. Oh, wow. thank you. I'll play. play. <laughs> B, you go out to a sound for booth. Bob, you come with me. You stay right there. We're coming back to play fast money. Welcome back to Family Feud. We're going to play fast money. D, your wife is in a soundproof booth. Bob's ready here to play. This is how we play. I'm going to ask you five family feud questions, put you under the pressure of time. I want all five answers within 15 seconds and try to think of the most popular answers that you can. Every point that you score, we will pay you $5 for. If between you, you can get 200 points, we'll give you $5,000 for the school. Okay? Yeah. Step up to that microphone. We wish you nothing but luck. 15 seconds on the clock, please. The time will start when I finish reading the first question. Name a musical instrument. A uh, harp. A spice. Nutmeg. Something green. Lawn. A kind of soup. Uh, tomato soup. A foreign car. Uh, jaguar. Okay, it's five and you did it comfortably. We said, name a musical instrument. You said, a harp? No, no. See, how many people in the survey said harp? No. We said, name a spice. You said, nutmeg. Our survey said, well, people like nutmeg. Name something green. You said, lawn. Our survey said, fifty-five. You said, name a kind of soup. You said, tomato. Our survey said 38 people, 105. We said a foreign car. You said Jaguar. Our survey said 611. We got 111 points. Quite that door for you. You did one good job. Please join the family, please. And bring out little D. He did a good job for you. All got great. 111, you'll need 89 points, all right? Okay. 89 gets you to 200, you win $5,000. Second position is harder because of this. I'll ask you the same questions. You cannot duplicate Bob's answers. If you do, you'll hear this sound. I'll say, try again. You give me a different answer, D, okay? <laughs> okay? Now, it's a little harder. We give you extra time. Put 20 seconds on the clock, please. Please remind our viewers at home the answers that Bob gave. We all got our fingers crossed for you. Okay. Time will start when I finish reading the first question. Name a musical instrument. Piano. A spice. Cinnamon. Something green. Grass. Try again. Trees. A kind of soup. Vegetable. A foreign car. Porsche. That's five. And eight. Oh. 
Let's go. We've 111. You're 89 away, and here we go. Oh. Name a musical instrument. You said piano. Our survey said. Guitar happened to be the number one choice. Oh. A spice. You said cinnamon. Our survey said. Oh. That was the number one choice that you made. You're 43 away, and here we go. Name something green. You said trees. Our survey said. Ten. Oh. 33 points away from $5,000. Name a kind of soup. You said vegetable. Our survey said. <laughs> Tomato happened to be the most important, oh. but right now the most important thing is six points, and you're five thousand dollars richer. <laughs> Name a foreign car. You said Porsche. Porsche. Our survey said. <laughs> Thank you.